and the atmosphere surrounding the FIFA World Cup is gradually drowning across the globe as Ghana seeks to end the sin committed against the West African nation by Luis Suarez in the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Ghana has been paired alongside the North American nation as well as Portugal, an opponent the Black Stars came up against in the 2014 FIFA World Cup, as well as South Korea, a side they had pummeled 5-0 before their World Cup contest in 2014. Good morning, everyone. I am of town, Nabila Ablai, and this is AM Sports. We're going in detail into that Ghana's group, which is Group H, with former Ghana assistant coach Ibrahim Tanko, who is currently the technical director of Ghana Premier League side Accra Lions. He'll be giving us an insight as to what to expect from the group and what the Black Stars can do in their group. And also, we'll be talking about some Ghana Premier League stories as Kumasi Asante Kodako extend their lead at the summit of the Ghana Premier League to 10 points. Second place, Adriana Stars have got 39 points. The Porcupine Warriors are getting closer and closer and wrap up with some Premier League stories as well. But first, let's start with the FIFA World Cup draw that happened last week, Friday, where Ghana was paired in Group H alongside Portugal, an opponent they met in the 2014 FIFA World Cup, as well as Uruguay, a side that denied Africa an opportunity of making it to the semi-final of a FIFA World Cup, as well as South Korea. And these are the groups. Group A is Qatar, Ecuador, Netherlands, and Senegal. Group B, it is England, Iran, USA, Scotland, Wales, or Ukraine. Group C, it is Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Group D is France, UAE, Australia, or Peru. These nations, they will play in their qualifiers in June. And we have Denmark as well as Tunisia, which makes up Group D. Let's take a look at Group E in the qualifiers, uh, in the group stages rather, for the FIFA World Cup. We have Spain, Costa Rica, or New Zealand. We have Germany and Japan. In Group F, it is Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia, who are finalists in the 2018 edition of your state in Russia. In Group G, it is Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon, host nation of the 2021 African Cup of Nations and in Group H, where Ghana finds itself is Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. Now let's hear from FIFA President Gianni Infantino, who says that this is a World Cup of peace following the Russia invasion of Ukraine. According to him, it is a competition meant to bring the world together. Thanks. This World Cup will simply be the best World Cup ever. The greatest show on earth, which will have over 3 million spectators here in Qatar and over 5 billion people watching it from home. The world will be united in Qatar. And for this reason, my first thank go to the people of Qatar, to His Highness, the Emir, to the people of the Gulf, to the Arab world. Shukran Jazilan for putting together this incredible event. And my congratulation, of course, goes to the 29 teams that have qualified so far and the three that will qualify in June. Congratulations, Mabruk, Felicitations, Glückwunsch. It's fantastic to be here. You are all winners, and this is great. But today and these times, we face as well some turbulences around the world. Our world is uh, divided. Our world is aggressive, and we need occasions to bring people together, to bring people to come together in peace, to celebrate, and the World Cup will be exactly that. And since we know that hundreds of millions of people are watching this draw, and many leaders of the world are also watching, our plea, the plea of the world football community to everyone, to all the leaders and to all the people of the world is stop the conflicts and the wars. Please, please engage in dialogue. Please engage in peace because we want this to be the World Cup of unity and the World Cup of peace. Thank you very much.